So what's up guys, Paul Simon here. We had a <clears throat> incident with uh, where we had to go up and replace a, uh, another Magneto on a helicopter. Uh, interestingly enough, the, uh, the aircraft had 480 hours. And for those that you don't know, uh, the Magnetos are inspected at 500 hours. So <laughs> it didn't quite make the 500 hour mark. Um, the owner had uh, went out and flown the aircraft and noticed that he had a, a, a mag drop on the right side that was right at the limits of uh, what it should be, and that 7% drop in two seconds. And they went out and flew the aircraft, and after they flew the aircraft for about an hour, came back in and uh, noticed that it was taking uh, a lot of power to, to hover the aircraft and set it down, and, and by that time, the right mag was completely dead. <laughs> so it was a, wasn't firing all on the right mag. So uh, let's take a look at what we found here. So it looks like the felt that holds the lubricant must have been a little dry because the uh, cam follower, as you can see, is worn. It had oh, yeah. worn enough that the, the points weren't even opening. <laughs> that so that's, be a problem. Yeah, that's why it wouldn't start. Yep, there you go. And let me guess, left mag. Well, actually, no, this is the right mag. It, it, so it did start, it just uh, had a, a it had dead, dead mag. mag. Okay, it had a dead there we mag. go. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, and the ongoing saga of <laughs> Magneto parts that don't hold up very well. Yeah. So in this next example that I'm going to show you is an aircraft that uh, this was back in May of this year, May of 2022, and we had just uh, done a inspection on the Magnetos and replaced uh, a bunch of the parts, including the points on the, uh, uh, the Magnetos. The aircraft uh, lives its life down in Arkansas, which is about 150 miles away. We do maintenance for uh, aircraft that some of them at pretty good distances away. This, <clears throat> this one was down in Arkansas about 150 miles away, so we had uh, the owner called up and said he had a significant uh, mag drop on one mag. And so we basically uh, just took along two new uh, mags and flew down to Arkansas and replaced both mags and uh, brought the uh, two mags back up here for inspection. And uh, so let me show you what we found on this one. Okay, and again, this Magneto had four hours, or these points in the Mag had four hours of runtime on them. Four hours. You don't expect a Magneto part like the, the points to fail in four hours. And obviously, it was a manufacturing defect. You can see that that rivet that held uh, part of the point on was loose and allowed the point to move and uh, prevented it from firing. So you would think that somebody uh, who manufactures parts for magnetos could do a little bit better job on quality control. So anyway, that's what we found. And uh, so if you guys, uh, if you're doing magnetos and you seem to notice a trend where you're finding more and more parts that are uh, having manufacturing problems or obviously not manufactured to the right standards, Send me a little message in the comments and mention it. I'd like to hear about it. So, okay. Hope you found this informational and useful. And uh, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.